Hey, girl. Hey, my love. <laughs> Hi. Ah, a little bit nervous. <laughs> it started to kick in, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah, just now. <laughs> I, I was like, wait. I realized I've never actually done like, like I never added the live myself. I've always joined live. So I was yeah. like, wait, how the hell did I do this? I know. I was like, oh, oh am I not doing this right? Because <laughs> I clicked like request to join. Yeah. yeah. No, you definitely got it right. So we're just um, waiting for um people to join a little bit. Um. Well, we can just. I mean, Jay's on. He says he's doing a little hot there. Oh, and, my mom is uh, here too. Oh, is that your mom? Yeah, that's my mom. Oh, okay. Ooh. And then um, one of my friends is on it too. So, but you know, we can just start off by like introducing yourself. Yeah, sure. Um, well, to the people that don't know me, um, my name is Miguelina, but I have people call me Lina because, yeah. you know, it's too big of a name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, most of uh, my friends from college call me Lina. My, you know, my my childhood friends don't. <laughs> they, they have another name, but I tell them now, like, call me Lina. I like you. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I got stuck with Lina. A, yeah. a vez en cuando yo te digo Mili, Miguelina. Miguelina, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, girl. But it's fine. Um, or more often, so I call you, we call each other Amore. Yeah. So that's, that's a, you know, that's our little thing. Yeah. Nobody it else is thing. <laughs> but I am, I am proud of you for coming on. Aww. Aww, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I know we wanted to talk about something else, but we cannot talk about that because of your, you know, the privacy and how the world yes. is right now. But maybe another time, hopefully, cuando se calma la cosa. Yeah. Um, Definitely, but, yes. Yeah, so I, I kind of mentioned to you the so for those that are watching, in case you have to see Lena disappear for a sec, it's, she is a mom. And she yeah. has a little baby in the house. Yes, so my she newborn. Has to, yes, so she has to disappear because the baby woke up. And she gotta go get her. Yeah. So <laughs> just let y'all know. Um, but yeah. So we'll start with um I guess like the first one I told you. Mm -hmm. Like um how, Okay. I wanted to make sure that the Oh yeah. The yeah, 'cause I I took it off to see if I can do both, but I can't. So oh, okay. I was going to basically don't ask you the questions that I told you before. Yeah, um, yeah. If I think of anything else, like I will keep it the way we said we would. Sure. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when did you have your miscarriage? So um, I don't know if this has happened to, to anybody, which I'm sure there's a lot of women out there that they, you know, they experience this. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's like I have that date stuck in my mind, like okay. every mm -hmm. day. Like you know, like I don't, I don't want to forget that that happened to me because that has, you know, been a part of me right. since it happened. So this happened um, three years ago on June twenty seventh. I know okay. the exact date. Even mm -hmm. even when they asked me, they're like, "Damn, you remember the exact date." <laughs> I understand you because I'm like that with a lot of things. I remember a lot of stuff. So I totally understand what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. It's like something yeah. that I, I, you know, it, it's um, painful, but it's also mm -hmm. um, a reminder of, of something beautiful that I have for a couple of months inside of me. Yeah. And I don't, I don't want to forget it, mm -hmm. you know? But yeah, it's 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 hard to talk about it. But it's, yeah, yeah, I'm 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 getting better. <laughs> yeah, I remember um, because Lena and I actually know each other from our first semester. Yeah, and um, I think after like my second semester, you weren't around, and that's probably when everything kind of happened for you. Yes, and then my third semester, you we had class again together. And then, um, and Isn't it's so it crazy. Because, 
yeah, yeah that was, <laughs> our first like we knew each other the first semester but we didn't really talk as much no but no then group first, session no nothing yeah like. nothing like because our first so we had um early childhood together and yeah our first class like we weren't able to do group work now yeah. that I really really think about it we didn't really do group, group work and then um and you know, shout out to Tracy, our teacher. Yes, yes. We were able to do a lot of group work, and we did a lot of uh, a lot of presentations together. So we got to know each other on a more because we were like we know each other from ECU. Y- yeah, <laughs> but we never managed to have that time to like introduce mm-hmm. ourselves like properly, like you know one-on-one yeah. like you know every class they tell us like introduce yourself talk about mm-hmm. yourself but never really like you know like like we did yeah. until like the third semester I think right yeah the third semester and I remember we did like the presentation about like who we are yeah and that's when you mentioned that you had a miscarriage yeah and I was just like oh my god like that sucks you know I've never experienced it but I've known a few people that have been through it. And it's just like, it's so sad, you know, and it's unfortunate. And I know one of the things that I was going to ask you was that a lot of people tend to put the guilt on themselves. Like it's their fault that they had a miscarriage. Was that like that for you? How did you feel about it? Well, when it happened, actually, that was the first thing that came to my mind. Did I did something wrong? Like, did mm-hmm. I... Like, I, because at the time I was working, um, Mm -hmm. I was like, maybe I work too much. Um, Maybe I didn't drink enough vitamins. Maybe I didn't um, take care of myself as I, I hoped I, you know, I thought I should. And um, yeah, that's the first thing that comes to, that came to my mind, you know, Mm -hmm. me personally. Um, but yeah, I have heard, you know, in a lot of cases that um, a lot of women, they think it's their fault. Yeah. And, you know, but I remember that day that, um, that the doctor came in and he was like, you know what? More so, five, I think he said two out of five women, mm-hmm. you know, it happens to them. So you're mm-hmm. not alone in this. Don't think you're yeah. the only one that, ha- you know, that it's, ha- it's going through this. Um, and you need a support system yeah, to get through this because yeah. you're not alone. And that's and, exactly what I was going to ask you next. Like, did you have a support system to help you through it? Like, to overcome it? Because I know it's not, if it's just you alone, it's just like, it drives you crazy. And you can fall into depression and a lot of stuff. Yeah, um, I was actually surprised um, because I didn't go through that in the beginning. Like mm-hmm. it was, it was until it hit like six months after it had happened that mm-hmm. like it all like came to me like at once. Yeah. But at first, like it was, yeah, it was, it was very hard in like the first week because mm-hmm. you know my body, my 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 mind wasn't. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I wasn't me in that week. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I didn't come to a depression right away. It was like, mm-hmm. you know, nothing happened after that. Um, but after that six months, it hit me really bad. Really, really yeah. bad. I don't know what it was. Maybe um, knowing people was getting pregnant, too, because I had a friend that was pregnant mm-hmm. at that time. Then she gave birth. So, I, I don't know. Maybe, you know, a little bit from here and there came to me and um I I really I was in a in a really bad place at that time and I want to highlight too that um my husband because I'm married for those that don't know um he actually suffered from depression but for him it was right away wow so I think I I think that's amazing yeah I mean not that amazing but I'm saying that you're highlighting that because a lot of people tend to say that women only have depression and not say about the father or any male figure that's around. But yeah, it's very important that you're highlighting that he actually went through depression. Yeah, and I think that's the reason. I don't know, God works in mysterious ways. But mm-hmm. I think and I feel that that was the reason for me not to have the depression right away because he was going through it. Right. And and like 
I guess God needed me to help him um, go through that. Yeah. Because he was, he, he, yeah, he was really in a bad place as well. But for him, it was in the beginning. And then yeah. after he was fine, that's when it hit me. It turned over to you. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like you were able to, like you said, like you felt like you needed to, to cater to him. Yeah. So you needed to be his support because he was, you know, he was at his low. And then when he was finally okay, it's like you go and you're just like, all right, now I can kind of grieve myself now. And yeah. took, you took the opportunity to now it's my time to grieve. And even if in your mind you weren't trying to, but sooner or later you had to let that out. Yes. I guess, yeah, you're right. You're right. I guess um, my mind was telling me, like, it wasn't letting me grieve because I was seeing how he was grieving. So I don't know. I don't know what it was. But, it, yeah, it was, you know, it was it was a hard time for both of us. It was a year that, you know, I will never forget. But, yeah, it's it's it was hard for him. Yeah. But, yeah, it's it's very important to highlight, you know, not only women go through depression, men go through it, too. Like, you know, guys are always the strong character. You know, we have to be the alpha. We got to be the lion. Yeah. Protect our, you know, our wife or our girlfriend. And you know, we got to hide it. Don't let them see me at my lowest. But I'm glad that he was able to open to you about him feeling at his lowest. And you being his partner there to support him. Because exactly. some people don't actually, like, you know, arreglate, you know, aren't you the man type of shit? I and know, it's yeah. Not, it's not like that. You know, just like we are, get our, we go on our lowest, so do men. Yes, exactly. So, yes, yes. You know. I needed to highlight that because, yeah, it was, yeah. it was a difficult time for him as well. But yeah, and you know what? I did, for the, like, going back to the question that you asked before. Mm -hmm. Um, I did had a, a good support, like support um system, system which was my mom. Mm -hmm. She really helped me. She was she always talks with me. Even now, you know, like we're in a good place that um we're talking, and with with situations like this, when something like very heavy happens to me, Hello? not mm -hmm. to say you know um nothing like you know. I don't want to put um, all my business out there, but yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I, I guess yeah. you. I so, totally understand. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. my, my mom was a great support system. My sister as well. Um, my little sister, she's, she's a really great help. Um, I feel like she's yeah. always there for me. I feel like since I've known you and I've, I've grown to know your family, um, especially with because you know the baby yeah. um, what I have seen like even with the pregnancy that you just had I've seen how your family is like your intimate family is there for you like yes. when it comes to yeah. you it's just like they're you know you're you're kind of their rock that they have to continue yeah. to protect you know and then it's vice versa you yes. know something's going on with your family you're very protective of your family as well that's something yes. that I've always noticed about you and yeah. your family but yeah. it's wonderful that you have your family, especially your mom. Um, those that know my story that, you know, they know that I and my mother yes. and I don't really have a relationship. Yeah. So, it, you know, it's it's times like, you know, God forbid that happens to me that, you know, you kind of want your mom. Exactly. Like, you know, the relationship that I have with her, I just know it won't exist. But I'm thankful that I have my stepmom and I have my aunt that they're like my mother figures in my life. Yeah, of course. You know, but and I'm friends. glad that, of course, <laughs> <laughs> especially you. Yes. <laughs> you know, like I've told you before, you're like, you're my sister and you're my best yes. friend. Yes, so, you are. Yeah. Um, we spoke about the support system. So, uh, I can't think of anything else right away because I kind of went blank because I kind of think I, I got nervous too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, I wanted to ask you, how did it, feel um I, you know you had your miscarriage and then you gave birth in June like how did that feel after you know having a miscarriage did you were you worried about this pregnancy I mean I know the answers to this but like people yes. don't really know you know if you were nervous about anything but how was that experience for you yes yeah that's a great question mm -hmm. um 
a lot of people that has miscarriage that don't have kids because for everybody I, I do want to say this is not the same mm-hmm. it's absolutely not the same and I think when my miscarriage happened um my son helped me like oh, wow. you know a lot by just looking at him because yeah. it, it you know it's something that I I don't wish upon anybody Mm-hmm. even the very least people that i like <laughs> right. but yeah no like i i wouldn't wish this upon anybody but uh with my situation i do have a, a nine year old boy and mm-hmm. i think that's the reason why i came out um faster than i thought i would okay. with the depression mm-hmm. and uh, as well as the support system of course but um yeah, it was scary. It was scary for when I heard the news that I, I was pregnant with my mm-hmm. third child. Yeah. Um, I was, I don't, like, I was afraid, um, nervous. Um, I don't know, like, everything in the book that, you know, has to do with with mm-hmm. being afraid of a situation that you don't know what's going to be the outcome and that it, it's going to happen to you again. Mm -hmm. Because I have heard people, you know, that they don't have kids or they do and they go through it and then they go through it again. And, and, you know, I was afraid of that. Mm -hmm. And, um, but yeah, like the minute I found out, I was like, I, I was scared to even like walk too much, like, um, eat something or like, um, I don't know, like, like have a job even because we had just came out of school. Yeah. So I was like, um, I'm kind of nervous, like to go right away to the to the teaching field and all of this, because especially the it was you you got pregnant. Uh, I think a little before COVID happened. Yes, yes, on January yeah. I found out mm-hmm. that I was pregnant. Yes, yeah, yeah. So yeah, because I remember we were all on Facetime or our college friends we have a yes. little group chat and we were like on FaceTime with Jackie that's actually listening yeah and uh she goes I got to tell you something we we're like what happened she goes I was pregnant we we're like we knew it you know because you know you went through what you went through but we knew yeah. that you know you and your husband did desire to have another child and I think that what's important and is that because you say you never forget that she asked uh, she's she's about to yeah <laughs> yeah because I heard I heard a little something that said oh that's my niece <laughs> <laughs> um I think it's always important to never forget because yeah. even though you you went through what you went through you never forget that child because you you carried her exactly you know, you know you don't know we don't know the reasons why it happened it happened it happened but it's still your child. Exactly, you know, my yeah. mom had a, uh, she carried my sister for seven months, I think. My mom mm-hmm. actually gave birth to her and seven minutes later, like my sister passed away. Oh my God, yeah. And, you know, I never got to meet her. My mom held her, my stepdad mouth held her, but that's my sister. Of you know, course. I don't go and say like, oh, you know, like I'll sometimes I'll say like, yeah, I have a, a total of, of uh, a mom, yeah, of siblings, of, like a certain amount yeah. of sisters, but I let them know like, you know, my mom had one. So, and then, you know, because she's still part of my life, my sisters don't remember her because they were too little and they weren't around yet, but I, I'm the oldest. So I do remember my mom being pregnant and then, you know, they couldn't really explain to me what happened. But as I got older, I learned obviously what it was. Exactly. But um, she's still my sister, and you exactly. know that's still that's still your child, no matter what. You carried your child. Exactly. Yeah. So. And there's no day that I don't forget about that child, even though I didn't mm-hmm. get the chance to to meet her. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like it was a girl. They yeah, didn't I tell me. You saying that, yes, yeah. I I felt like it was a girl, and um, with with my Bella Bella, mm-hmm. right here, she we actually didn't plan her. I didn't plan her. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> she came surprise, surprise, mommy. She came surprise, surprise. <laughs> but yeah, she, she yes. Uh, but you know what? Um, like I was saying before, I was, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Okay, she's up. <laughs> <laughs> 
So yeah, I like um, Wendy. Yeah, she was. She came in a time, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like um, my mom always says, um, "El tiempo de Dios es perfecto." Yep. That's how good so, in God's timing. Yeah. So yes, that she came in a time where um, God knew that you know she needed to be here with me. And then COVID happened, and then <laughs> you know it's all this craziness. But yeah, yeah um, her pregnancy was actually very hard since the beginning. Mm-hmm. I was afraid I was gonna miscarriage again. Yeah, um, but I think um, I, even in the beginning you were stressing yourself out. Very a lot, yes. Because I, I remember lot, there was yeah. a there was a few times that you end up going to the hospital because you were spotting. Yes, and it was because the doctor was just like, "Come, basically, Lena, come the fuck down." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, but I, I totally get it. It's like, you know, you don't know, you know, yeah. after you experience that. Because I can imagine you, you go through that trauma and it's just like, now I'm pregnant. It's just like, okay, what do, what do I not do? Or what do I do? And, you know, should I just yeah. stay in bed until I just give birth? Like, what, what do I exactly. do? But then it's hard for you because, like you mentioned before, you have a nine-year-old. You cannot do anything and then be like, I've been little my, my son. I don't exactly. have to feel like I abandoned him. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah, I I totally understand. And, you know, I know the experience that you've gone through with Bella Bella. And um, you're strong, you know. I uh, Thank you. You know, a lot of women don't like to talk about it. And I... Um, I saw this one girl that I have on social media. I think I know her from from church. Yeah. And I felt bad because a lot of people kept asking her, like, when are you going to have a baby? Yeah. And, like, you know, it was a continuation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a continuation. That's another point. Her family, people on social media kept asking her, like, when you're going to have a baby. And she recently posted, like, you know, I don't like to put my business out there, but exactly. these are reasons why you shouldn't ask people why. Why you're not And she it, actually yes. had a miscarriage. Exactly. She had a miscarriage, and she was like, you know, please stop asking people when are they going to have a baby because you don't know what can happen or what they've already been through. Yes, that's the one thing that I've learned, like, with my experience and people that have been through it that I've known. Mm-hmm. It's not to to say those words to to a person that you don't you know you don't know their story so right. don't add more stress to to what they might be going through you know so yeah. when yes that's the reason why I didn't want to tell anybody I was pregnant because right. of that because yeah, of my of, of what was going on you know yeah like I yeah. I had a miscarriage and then my my Bella was a, a very difficult pregnancy. Mm-hmm. I didn't know the what was going to, you know, be the the ending of it. Right. Which was even, you know, it was it was hard either way cuz she was mm-hmm. a, she, she came at 7 months. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, Lena literally the only people that knew about her pregnancy were of course me and our close um high, uh, high school our our close college friends and um and her close family, her intimate yes. family. Yes, my that's mom, it. my sisters, and that's it. She never I, posted yeah. anything on social media until Bella Bella got better and she yeah. got stronger. And everybody sees all the chunkiness in the world. Yes. Because she is so <laughs> chunky. I just like, I just yeah. want her rose. <laughs> she see it too. I don't see it. Baby. She's like, know. what's going on? She's like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what the hell? <laughs> but yeah, yes, yeah. So she, she is. She's a a true blessing from God. I mean, every kid is a blessing, but you know, she is what they call a, a rainbow baby. Yeah, so that's your rainbow baby, and you know, she's freaking adorable, just as your son, your son, and, and your yeah. daughter. It's just like they're so they're two chunk chunk. Yeah, those so cheeks. cute. Like they're saying those cheeks. Yeah, she has them really. Like you just want like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom said me nana. Yes, yes, that's her. That's her baby, yes. That's My her mom princess. and her is like, yeah. What? She's pooping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, um yeah, like I said everybody is is remember like like I said before, everybody's um story is it might be different. 
um so we do have to keep that in mind that you know i i tell my story but it might not be the same for another person that has had more than one miscarriage no. more than two miscarriages and or is trying to have a family and you know they can't mm -hmm. yeah, so it's sure. it's like you know like you said not not like your friend Like you can't be saying, "Oh, when are you gonna be pregnant?" and this mm -hmm. and that, <laughs> when you don't know their story. So, right. we women gotta stick together and keep that in mind. Yeah, I um, there was another girl that I know from. Uh, she lives in Philly, and she had a miscarriage and she kept it quiet too. And then, um, it's crazy because you know she mentioned that, and then she became her her husband became foster parents. Oh, wow. That's great. And so she said, you know, like, it, it was hard for her. And then just the approval of to be a foster parent helped her. Because yes. she's like, okay, I couldn't have a kid of my own. But, you know, now I'm able to help these kids. And so hopefully their parents get, you know, the parents were actually able to um, fix their life stuff and stuff like that. So they actually got their kids back. And shortly after they got the kids back, the girl got pregnant. And oh then she God. ended up having a baby. And so I was just like, you know, God works in mysterious wow, ways. Wow, yes. You know, so, you know, he sent her those kids to exactly. help them and guide them as much as, and he was like, okay, I'm going to give you a baby now. Like, you're ready. <laughs> I you think know, you're ready like, now. <laughs> one thing I've learned is, like, you can't question God. Exactly, yes. You know, sometimes we're like, God, why? And it's just like. We always ask that question at some point, but then we mm -hmm. also have to realize that you know it's it's not up to us it's up to him yeah. like um yeah timing. Mm -hmm. yes exactly and you know i actually thought of that when that had happened like a year after i was like okay so then if i don't get to be you know i don't i don't get to be a mom again mm -hmm. you know as me being pregnant but mm -hmm. i would love to be a mom to somebody else and right. you know that was in my plans which it still is <laughs> yeah um i would love to you know adopt someday mm -hmm. um but let's see I'm how it goes track. yeah i'm gonna say track you know that's my agreement with my boyfriend um we've agreed to hopefully if we get the pair we get the boy and the girl yeah um we'll, we'll be done but you know i still would love to adopt um Even if we have a third child, we're still going to adopt. <laughs> He's watching, but... <laughs> you know, because it's just like, it's, you know... Every, every child deserves to be loved. Exactly. No matter yeah. what, There's you so know. There's so many kids and... out there that they need that, that love yeah. that's going through a lot, and they need that love. But yeah, it's like... Yeah. Um... I actually saw... Um, and, I mean, this all kind of goes together, but I actually saw on Twitter, this girl that I follow, but she she's talking. <laughs> He said, Dre said for, so far now. <laughs> um, we talk later. <laughs> um, like, oh, sorry, yeah, I, I put it on last. <laughs> nah, you're, you're fine. Um, yeah, so I saw on Twitter this girl, like, she was saying that um, her next child, because she, her first child, she ended up getting a sperm donor. So she has a son. Oh, okay. And so, um, but now she's saying that for her second child or maybe her third, she actually wants to adopt a, a teenager. Oh, and wow. I was just like, oh, wow. Like, that's, that's, that's so hard. Yeah, that's a, that's a challenge right there. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely challenging. But she was saying, like, she would want the, her first child to be the same age. So they kind of have the same age. Yeah. But, um, but I understood where she was coming from because she was saying that, um, So many teenagers get left uh, left behind because people just want to adopt little babies. Smaller, yeah, small, yeah, exactly. And like, yeah. you know, when they become adult, uh, when they become teenagers, it's just like they're basically there to the 18 and now they're off with you, like who, wherever you live, you live, type of thing. But exactly. Not. Exactly. So I totally understood what she was coming from, and I I knew her. I could personally not deal with teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> This is why we have a degree in early yes. childhood. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Exactly. You know, like I, all my sisters are pretty much teenagers only my little sister is uh kind of going to her preteens soon yeah. but it's just like they're driving me crazy 
you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, I see my people that I know with crazy. teenagers, and it's like, yeah, even yeah. remembering myself how <laughs> I was as a right. teenager is like, you know. I'm just waiting for Brandon like to hit that, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna have to talk and have a long conversation with him because yeah, yeah it's hard, it's, it's it's hard. But like your friend said, I get her point, and that's mm-hmm. yo, yeah, yeah, that's so, crazy. You know, for those that are listening, please don't ask the other people when they're having babies because you know, unfortunately, stuff like this happens. Yes, and you know it's it's not an easy thing to go through because then you start kind of like you know that everybody was kind of rooting for me to have a baby, and now you know yeah. like I know somebody that's actually pregnant now. Okay, but you know this is her first child, and she's just been keeping. And I told her I was like, you don't have to live your life on social media. You don't yes. have to live on social media. I've learned pregnant. that with my second pregnancy, with mm-hmm. my miscarriage, because I've learned that the very hard way. That's why I'm more of like, more private, if you want to mm-hmm. call it. Yep. Because all these negative comments that I heard after I had the miscarriage of close family talking about, you know, um, oh, for this and that, and you know, like having questions that they didn't even have the guts to ask me in my mm-hmm. face. But I felt like, like instead of, of having, um, I don't know, like this positive energy to somebody that is going to come into this world. No, you have like yeah. negative comments, like towards mm-hmm. it, you know, to yeah. a baby that's not even here yet. Right. And you definitely don't need that because exactly. you know, you've already, you're going through like, oh my God, I just lost my baby. What did I do wrong? And now you're getting all this negative energy that makes you feel even more like it is my fault. It, exactly. You know, they're saying it. Then that means it's totally my fault. Mm-hmm. So, or questioning you know, your parenting and all of this. I'm oh, like, yeah. what the hell? Like, <laughs> yeah. So like, I told her because that's the thing, and I've had this conversation before with my boyfriend where I don't want to kind of, you know, because me and him went through some certain situations, but I was like, I kind of don't want to live too much of our lives on social media, and because you know people start questioning everything like hey you haven't posted such and such in a long time like how what's yeah. going on there? they yeah, just want exactly. to be nosy and then you come in your business they're not there to support you they're not exactly they just wanna, you know people don't want to they see just want to know the the cheese man that's going yeah. on <laughs> exactly that's what they want the cheese man you know and so that's what i told her i was like you don't have to live your life on social media it's not a a, a thing and that's the thing like since social media since facebook and instagram has been out because i feel like a lot of people even when have... myspace was around and when Skonex was around yeah it wasn't as popular as to post as, everything like, right yeah because you, you, know, eating, you would take dressing? a picture <laughs> yeah like you would just take a nice picture on like christmas and you'll post it on your social media but now it's like you get engaged post it on social media you just had a baby post it on social media you got married post it on social media you just dyed your hair post it on social media it's yes like, it, yeah. it becomes a continuation and just like when you live your life private and it's contagious actually it's very contagious it to get it you is. know you know um like have that you know in mind too because that happened to me like i said i've been through it and i'm mm-hmm. like you know what i gotta step back and analyze like what's important right. and you know and either either way people's gonna talk no matter what if you post or not but right. you know, have that. Li- it's good to have that little privacy of yours. Like I'm sure that when you posted Bella Bella, they were all like, "Wait, you had a baby?" Yes, <laughs> yes. They 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 <laughs> asked my oh, sister. They was like, "Oh my god, you guys kept it so well. Like, did she have a baby?" <laughs> and my sister's like, "Yeah, she did." <laughs> yeah, I have um another friend of mine that uh, I'm gonna be doing a live with her soon. She actually went through her whole pregnancy quiet too. Yeah, wow. She, like you, you had your your boy, and she just gave birth in December, I believe, mm. or November. Mm. No, December because it's before Christmas. And she kept it all quiet. And I said, "Listen, it's like she told me, she told our other friends and her family, of course, like her, her yes, boyfriend yes. and stuff like that. That's it." And I was like, "Girl, like social media doesn't need to know." So when she posted, people was like, "Wait, you have another baby?" <laughs> she was like, "Yeah, <laughs> another baby surprise." Yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, but, that's you know, that was that was my decision to keep it a private, and I mm-hmm. I really 
I would do it again if I if I have to because yeah, yeah I, we don't need that you know negative energy those comments that they don't bring nothing good to us and especially right. to a baby that's not even born yet so I'm like no I learned from yeah. what happened to me before that's what, yeah that's why when I do see like certain women post that they're pregnant I wish them but a, a safe journey exactly because yes. you because you never know what could happen you know mm -hmm. like I remember when my mom was pregnant with my, I want to say my first, well, my second sister, my mom slipped and fell on her belly. Oh, my God. And I, like, you know, I was freaking out. We were all freaking out. We, we had her, and mind you, we were out of the country. So oh, we wow. had a, you know, we, um, I have an uncle that does um, EMS in El Salvador. So he took her to, like, the best hospital Got mm -hmm. her checked. The baby was fine, but stuff like that, like you know, my stepmom, Always like happens, I yeah. salute her. Yeah, you, my stepmom, I salute her because she was pregnant with my brother, uh -huh. and she would be walking in the blizzard snow, and I'm just like, Are you crazy? Yeah, like, I <laughs> am terrified of when this when the snow starts to stick. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm staying home today. <laughs> like, I'm not going to work. I'm not going anywhere because you know I'm clumsy. For those that know me, I'm clumsy, <laughs> and I do fall when it comes to the snow. And so even when people are pregnant, I just feel like it should be fair if somebody's pregnant and there's a snowstorm for them not to go out. Yeah. Any snow that's sticking, if it's freezing out and you, you see the ice, just let them stay home, you know, because you have to protect your baby. Like, forget yeah. about, like, sometimes we forget about ourselves because we're just like, oh, my God, I have to protect my baby. Forget about me. It's my baby I'm worried about. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so. that's right. Like, uh, that's why I feel like w women should, like, from my experience, like I say, um, women should wait until, like, at least six months to be like, hey, I'm pregnant to everybody, you know? Obviously, yeah. they're close families. But mm -hmm. to everybody else, I guess, you know, it's better to wait because anything can happen. And, right. you know, you know, not wishing that to anybody. Yeah, but, no, yeah. of course. Yeah. But now that I've known, like, so many women go through this, it's like, mm -hmm. okay, so, yeah. Like, we should wait. That's why I waited for my Bella Bella to announce it. And, you know, and I was going to do the baby shower. You remember? Yeah. Yeah, and we can do it. <laughs> but you know, I I was honored and you know, her sister as well, you know, thankful for her sister. We were able to do a a whole virtual gender reveal and yes, you know, I, yes. I put my and I'm into thankful. it. <laughs> yeah. I put my teaching into it. I did a volcano and the, yes, the lava yes, came out. Did. I knew it was a girl. And I was just like so excited. I was just like, yes. I can't wait for her to know it's a girl, you know, because you know she has a boy already. She's like, I really want a girl. You know, if I get a boy, okay, but I really want a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and your husband was like, "Look at your scared type of yes, thing." Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, he was. He was very excited though for this one. Like, yeah. And and I want to also say like he he as well was scared like when I got pregnant yeah. of her. And he was he was helping me a lot. Like he cooked, he cleaned, he went to do laundry, he went to do this. Like, he said, no, 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 you he, stay. Yeah. I go. Yeah, he he told me no, you have to stay in bed because we don't want nothing bad to happen to this right. baby, and we're gonna try our best. But you know, if God is, you know, see, so said it, Dios, like for anything to happen, it's up to right. him. But let's not. Yeah, like thank overdo God it. that you had that type of person, that type of partner, because. Yes. I posted out on, on this page uh, a couple of weeks ago before we did this session. Um, and I posted, like, has anybody been through a miscarriage or have they known? And people voted, yes, I had a miscarriage. And some people said they didn't knew somebody. And, mm -hmm. um, yes, um, I'll teach you exactly. I'll teach you, yeah. <laughs> and um, I posted, like, you know, what was your experience like? So one girl answered, and then she was saying, and like, it broke my heart because she said that um, the guy didn't, he wasn't there for her. She had her miscarriage and he wasn't there at all. Mm -hmm. And he blamed it because they were in a long distance relationship. And I was yeah. just like, I don't, I don't care. Like, if you were able to travel to have sex with her, exactly. you could travel like, and make sure she's okay. Right, bless you. Bless exactly. you. <laughs> so... You know, like that broke my heart because there's some guys that just feel like, you know, I don't, you had a miscarriage, like get over it type of thing. But then yeah. when you have a partner 
they understand and they're, they'll be with you by your side to make sure that you and him are both okay. Because exactly. they go, like you said, your husband went through depression, he was in that pain with you. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, and the people also around me, like I, I mm -hmm. saw my mom, how she it really hurt her for, you know, for her daughter to go through that. Um, even when my Bella was born, like, you know, I had a lot of people like including you guys you um jackie everybody that knew about my pregnancy i you know i had a lot of people that helped me because it was a difficult also a difficult yeah. time when she was born because she was premature seven months like mm -hmm. but you know people around you also go through that depression with you yeah. not of only course. your 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 spouse or your partner you know but also the people around you And yeah, I saw how my mom it was it was very difficult for her to to see me like, you know, give birth at seven months and then see me go to the hospital and visit my daughter and yeah. see me cry every time I came home and you know. Yeah, of course, because you couldn't take little Belle with you. Yeah, exactly. I remember like I was so grateful because I understood what you were going through and you know, of course me and the girls were talking back and forth. And I'm grateful for your sister because, you know, if I couldn't, if I would text you and you respond, I'm like, okay, but I have your sister's number. <laughs> <laughs> going out to text your sister. And, you know, she updated me with everything, you know, and I kept Yeah, because I remember too. telling you guys, yeah, I want, I want time to, to understand what's going on. Yeah. And also because it was out. hard for me to talk about it every day to, like, you know, like... People asking me, oh, how are you doing? How is she doing? Like, I mm -hmm. cry every time they ask me that. So yeah. I wanted, like, less of that and more focus on her getting, you know, what she needed. Yeah. And getting home, getting her home. Yeah, because I remember, like, there, like, I wouldn't hit you up so much because I was just like, I know she's going through a lot. She's probably tired of hearing, like, how are you feeling type of thing. Yeah. So I would just send you some random stuff, and I'm like, My love, I miss you so much. And yes. Said, you know, I'm playing for you, and I'm here for you. And then, you you know, you would text me back whenever you could. Yeah. And so, but I totally understand, you know, you're just trying to make sure that your daughter's coming home with you. Mm -hmm. And you were just thinking about, like, you know, I it's not that I don't care about you guys right now. I just really want to focus on my daughter. Yeah. Give me some space. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Just give me space. So I totally understand that. I was like, I'll, I'll send her random texts here and there, but I would always yeah. communicate with your sister. Yeah, and yeah. it's it's. It, I'm glad that it took some time for me to heal from my miscarriage, and then give me some more time to you know, you mm -hmm. know, get pregnant, and then that happened, and then another depression, and then right now I'm dealing yeah. with a little bit of postpartum depression. So it's like you know, mm -hmm. I have I, I take every day as it comes, and I you know I try to make the best out of it. And yeah. shout out to all the moms and to all the people that had the miscarriage and is you know or is going through it right now. Mm -hmm. It's it's very hard. It's you know it's very very hard. Yeah. So, but my love, I know you are a mommy, and I know she wants your attention soon. Yeah. <laughs> As a me, I did not. She's like, what's going on? <laughs> She's like, what is? Who is that? I know yeah, you better see Auntie face soon. I'm to get oh, she's looking at you now. Say that you're okay, Demia. She's like, when are you coming to visit? <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, thank you so much for sharing your story. I am super proud of you, and you know you're an awesome mom. Oh, thank and, you, love. You know, you're an awesome sister to me too, and the best friend. Oh. And I am grateful for you every day. Even Love like you. you know, she she yelled at me sometimes. She was like, "On me Monday, you haven't so spoken to me." And exactly. I'm like, I'm sorry. You know, but I also understand. You'd be forgetting like, oh. about me. Like I texted last night just to make sure, and I was like, "Yeah, I think she's sleeping." <laughs> I yeah. Get her up early in the day because I totally forgot. Yeah, but, my sleepy yeah. schedule is not on right now at its best. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to keep you know my mm. sleep as it comes with Bella. <laughs> yeah, I totally get it. But thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for having story. me. And yes, and congratulations with everything that's going on thank in your you. life. Yes, thank you. you guys I'm need trying. to hear my Mandy in her <laughs> Sasson talk. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you guys, it's it's very exact. You feel like you are on, on the table talking to girls and listening to them. And yeah. It's very good. I love it. I it's love like it. tea time with us. 
Yes, it is. <laughs> for All me, right, it's coffee. Love. <laughs> oh yeah, for you it's coffee. For me it's tea, sometimes yeah. coffee, but it depends on my mood. <laughs> All right, love. I love you All so right, much. I love Thank you, you for having me. Bye. Bye.